Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and this is day 3 of our 30 days of XD challenge. So in case you are not aware of it, I have taken a 30 days of XD challenge and every single day I'll try to design something uh, so that I can get friendly on XD. So into that we are on to third day and this is what we are going to design today. So I've designed this, I liked it and I think this is going to be good. The idea here is really simple. I thought that I'll be making a simple login screen for some writer. Let's just say this is an app for a writer. So it should be bluish because writer is going to be on ink. And the important part is I try to explore some of the icons from the various website. There are various websites on here. One of the which I try to explore is free pick and full credits to the free pick because I'm not on the license. Uh, so I should credit the author for this design, although I'm not going to publish this design anywhere apart from just recording this video. So here is a full credit to the author uh, of the flat icon from where I have used it, freepick.com. So this is the uh, credit. And you can just uh, ask for any design here. I tried for pencil or pen icon, and you can grab a lot of them. So just feel free to explore. They do have licensing as well, so full credit to them. I hope I have made it very clear. And just onto a small idea, I have given a credit author here. Although this design is not going to see any screen or daylight there. So there we go. Let me walk you through how I have designed this one. This is a really simple one, but it looks really beautiful actually. Very clean, very elegant and pretty awesome. So we're going to design an artboard here. So let's take an artboard of iPhone 6, 7, 8. So this is what we are having. And now we, I have actually uh, kind of parted it into two things. The first is the top one and the second is the bottom one. And then it looks like a really nice shadow. So this time I have tried to play with a little bit of the shadows. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard for rectangle. And there we go around almost the same. We are going to grab an, a rectangle there. I have removed the border from it and I have actually gone ahead and got a fill into it. Not just any fill. I want a linear gradient. But this time I'll shift the gradient from top to bottom instead of that I'll use left to right. And from that uh, the first part is going to be this one. So I'm going to just click on it and select the pencil or the color picker. We'll get this color and this is actually 49B9EA and on to the second color. We're going to pick the darker shade of the blue. And this is 1F, 3F, 8, 9. So there we go. Nice and easy. Uh, pretty easy stuff. And now another rectangle for this grayish. So I'm going to press R. And I'm going to grab a rectangle. There we go. And there we go. Now this is not having any border. But the fill color is like a little bit uh, grayish. Feel free to go a little bit darker shade on that. But I think this is this is looking better in that. Or probably I would like to go a little bit lighter shade onto it. So it's it just looks there that it is there, but not very uh, solidly present. Okay, that's there we go. Looks pretty easy. Now after that, I went ahead and created a circle here. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, not the circle. Actually, circle would look good. Previously, I tried circle, but this time I'll go. I think that rectangle looks pretty beautiful. And I went ahead and I think I went for 20 onto this. There we go. Not 20, actually 10, I believe. So almost 10. There we go. Okay, looks nice. And I'm going to center it just like that. Okay. And after that, again, icon was picked by flat icon website. So I'm going to just go ahead and select this icon. Okay, there we go. I can select that probably. There we go. I'm going to just copy this and paste that. Now, some of you noticed in the previous uh, one of the comment actually I so uh, I see there that hey, please don't copy from the artboard because we don't have the artboard. Uh, I don't actually copy paste anything. I show you full resources from where you can have it like this icon. Uh, feel free to just go ahead and explore that on the flat icon. Instead, I would recommend to pick anything like this one or this one. But make sure in case you are not on to their paid plan, make sure you give the credit to the author there. Okay, so there we go. Looks nice. And I'm going to just select this one. And I'm going to just move it like that from my arrow keys so that it looks almost centerish. There we go. Because this image is not exactly center. So these buttons didn't work out for me. And also I would like to give some shadow for that. The shadow that I picked up for this one is actually minus six and three. So in case you want to go exactly for that. So just write the number uh, which is minus six and three for this one so that they look both exactly almost the same. 
I believe this one is a little bit darker and this one is like that. So there we go, we do have it. And in case you want a little bit like that, so we can just select this guy and we can have it like a little bit more. Now totally depends on you what kind of shape you are looking up for or which shape is suiting you better. You can go for this one as well. I think this one is better. So I'm gonna go for this one, which is 90 by 103. In case you want to go for squarish as well, feel free to go that. It's design, it's your thing. So we're gonna grab one more rectangle. So I'm gonna go for something like this. And again, there we go. Expand that a little bit like that. And we will be going for a border radius here. So I'm gonna go for 10 here as well. Or probably 20 this time, so that it looks a little bit, I believe I went for a 10. So we're gonna go for 10 for this one as well. But again, feel free to go for this one as well. I'll remove the border, I didn't like them. There we go. Again, I have, I'm having a shadow here as well, the same shadow, which is minus six and three. There we go, nice and easy. The shadow actually makes it look really awesome. The next thing that I went for is the line. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a line, hold down my shift key, and there we go. We do have a line. I bumped it up to three, I believe so. And there we go. I also have changed the color for it. And the color, you can choose a bluish one as well. I'm gonna go and select this one, which is 46B4E5, and there we go. So I'm gonna press escape key, there we go, and V key to, and I'm gonna hold my option key or alt key on my windows, so, so that we can have this duplicate line here. There we go, one for username and one for password. The next one is gonna be the sign in button, so I'm gonna press R to get a rectangle, and this sign in will be center, ish there we go and this time we're gonna go really round just like that so that looks i like the round buttons there we go on this design at least i'm gonna press v key to select that we're gonna remove the border and we're gonna fill it with our uh regular blue color uh, which is 51 c7 f0 there we go now it's time to add some of the text so we're gonna grab text and we're gonna say sign in there we go, I'm gonna select all of it. We'll turn it to white because I think in this background the white is gonna look good. Bump the font a little bit, okay. Press escape, press V key to center-ish like that. There we go, and we're gonna just move it a little bit like that. Okay, now it's center. We can also select this one and this one by holding shift key and we can just center align both of that just like that. And now it looks pretty good. Now let's have another text, which is gonna be username. So we're gonna go for username, it's not visible. So I'm gonna select all of it. And I am gonna select a bluish color for that. Now this blue is a little bit darker uh, because I want it to be have a look of little bit like ink-ish. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit like that. Okay, there we go. Escape, press V key, and there we go. A nice username and hold down your option key or alt key and we are gonna have a password there. So we're gonna say password. Okay, escape key a couple of times. There we go, username and password. Looks pretty good. I like this design actually. And in fact, uh, this one is much better actually. Okay, there we go, nice and easy. Now only thing remaining is some text font which is forgot password, don't have an account and sign up. So that's not a big deal, we can have it. We are gonna say simply forgot password. There we go. And we can add a question mark as well, it will look good. Bump it up a little bit, there we go. Escape key, V key, and there we go. Now the shortcuts are really easy. I am able to remember these shortcuts now, I hope you are as well. A lot of you have posted these things on my Facebook wall. Thank you so much for doing that. They have given me really some great idea and some of these designs were really amazing. Let's have another text and we are gonna have this word here, which is uh, don't have account. There we go. So this is gonna be a separate text and another separate text is gonna be here. Uh, let's press the T key text and this is gonna be sign up. Uh, there we go sign up, select all of it, and escape key to bump the font a little bit up. 
press V key to select that and now we're gonna just grab it like that okay so this is our design I think I would like to align it a little bit like that and there we go okay so this looks pretty good and day three I'm feeling much more comfortable with the sketch and I'm able to design much more awesome things in the uh, obviously I said sketch there but it's XD so there we go and I highly recommend to explore this flat icon probably try to design or replicate some of them it's a good practice thing so day three it's pretty awesome and don't forget to uh, join me up on my Facebook page and post some of your design that you have designed and this login screen I would call it done so that's it and let's catch up in the next video of day four of challenges of XD make sure you post down in the comment section hashtag 30 days of XD.